Hey you. Yeah you. Are you tired of being laughed at by your friends for being a no-skilled World of Warcraft nerd? Do you want to prove those laughing friends wrong? But you suck at playing real video games like Counter-Strike Source? Well then wipe the Cheetos off your shirt and open up Notepad, cause have I got news for you. With my five easy steps, you'll be poning more noobs than your level 84 paladin could ever dream of. I know, there are so many guns to choose from. It's kind of overwhelming. To start, you should probably use the pump shotgun. It's one of the hardest guns in the game to use. I mean, it has about the range of a sniper, and it does the same amount of damage. You also can jump with it if you really want to. It's really hard to use, so if you don't like it, you can always use the M249. All you have to do is aim and hold down the trigger with this gun. It's kind of tricky, I know, but then you could always use the P90 as well. This gun's very sporadic. I mean, near or far, you can get headshots. But all those bullets can make things kind of messy, so if you don't like that, you can always use the auto sniper. If you miss with this gun, it's alright, you can always shoot him again, and then 28 more times in case you miss again. But it doesn't matter. Hell, you don't even need the scope half the time. The world outside of spawn is kind of a scary place, and a lot of bad things can happen to you if you're not careful. So as a solution, I'm going to show you multiple locations that can make your stay in your CS server a safe one and a fun one. When camping, be sure to hide behind boxes, in narrow corridors, inside your teammate, inside plants, and for extra security, make barricades out of random file cabinets lying around. Because nothing says security like a big metal box that inhibits walking better than polio. Now, while playing CS Source, you're going to run into a lot of people using the same tactics as you are. And I mean a lot of people. But that's okay, because they just want to be pros like you too. Get your hands back on the keyboard. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about how to bait using your teammates. Counter-Strike is a team-based game, but it's not very nice to steal your friend's kills. So, if you two see an enemy, just sit back and relax while he goes and fights him first. And like any good team player, if your teammate does die, be sure to avenge him by shooting the likely crippled enemy that did it. Ah yes, flashbangs. These little guys pack a pretty big punch, and that's the best part about them. But flashbangs are more than just devices used to blind your enemy. They also can help your team significantly as well. Be sure to throw flashes at your teammates as often as you possibly can, because if you can't see them, they can't see you. As this graph clearly shows, players who use flashbangs on their teammates succeed far more than players that just use them on enemies. If your teammates start yelling at you, it doesn't mean what you're doing is wrong. It just means they're envious of your pro-like skills. Since Counter-Strike is such a team-based game, you often need to remind your teammates of a job well done and congratulate them. Much like the awkward slap on the ass, you also can shoot your teammates to tell them, hey, good job, you deserved it. Also, if you ever see a person labeled as a hostage, be sure to kill them right away. They have about nine times more health than the average player, which makes them a huge threat to you and your team. Now to show your team that you're a real pro, you should stand in front of doorways that will likely have enemies come by. Make sure that none of your teammates get by though. Remember, they're not nearly as good as you are. With these tips at your side, there's nothing stopping you from becoming a Counter-Strike Source Pro.